So hello everybody, my last video was about the Vault of Iridium Core and I mentioned that it also can import DX7 patches and then I thought, wait a minute, also the Disting EX at which I looked also in a previous video can also do import of DX7. So why not do a little comparison? And I actually also wanted to include here my Mode X7 Plus, which I also know can import DX7 sounds, but then I found out you need this online cloud service to do so, and this thing is dead and gone, so there's currently no way to get DX7 sounds into the Modex. If you know about a way, please tell me, and I can only say don't trust any cloud solution, it can be gone any day, and you're left with nothing. So I fired up in both devices the first original preset bank of the DX7 and what is the most famous sound of the DX7? It's the e-piano. So let's give that a listen. I did here two clips which are sent to both devices and we can now simply toggle between them to give an impression if there is a difference. So starting out with the radio. So hand on your heart, can you hear a difference? Not much, it's very subtle, but for my impression, they sound pretty identical. And I think the fun even starts if we pan them to left and right. Isn't that beautiful? electric piano. So I think the raw sound is pretty identical. So let's have a look at how can we actually get the sounds into the devices. For the Disting EX you have the SD card and on that card you can simply put a folder which you call FMSYX in capital letters and there you simply drop your DX7 banks and then you can insert the card and as soon as you activate the PolyFM algorithm which is number 23 you can then select the banks and the sounds from these banks which are in this folder. Also, if you don't have this folder on your card, you have a best of mix of banks already in the device, so you not necessarily have to do that, but I wanted to do a fair comparison and use the same sound set on both devices. And first question I skipped is how do you actually get the DX7? So on the internet, you can find tons and tons of sounds. One, for example, I found which has all the default factory sounds is here. The Yamaha DX7 SysX sound patches site. All the links again will be down in the description of the video. And there you also get other banks as well, which you can download and put, for example, on the Disting EX card. But let's have also a look at the Iridium Core. How do you get in the, the sounds as well? You simply copy them on the USB stick wherever you like and insert the USB stick. Then you go to load and in the load dialog you have this action menu and on the action menu you select import. On an import you can also select here your patches. So I created a folder on here which I call DX7 and there you find the same SysX, you select the bank you'd like to import, then you select import, and then you got asked in which start slot it should be copied. This is year 6010, and then you can also say override if there are only presets in there, but be careful with that not to delete some other patches. Then you say start, and then you end up here with these patches on your patch list. But let's hear another sound. Why not go with the first one, the brass one? How does that sound? Let's go center again. Or the second brass. Maybe the second one's a bit more juicy. Let's go with that. And let's see how that sounds on the this thing. Let's also center that again. I think we have a little difference here with that. Let's check that out. It's a bit deep, so maybe we 
will transpose that up a bit. So let's go up and let's copy the same one to the second slot. So the Iridium again, and let's switch. That's a total difference. But I think it's only about EQ, so if we add a bit of EQ. Yeah, already pretty close. Okay, but that's pretty boring. The fun starts when we do now the mangling of these sounds on the devices. For the disting, we can use the full power of our Eurorack system, but I wanted to look a bit more in the Iridium core. I think that's more interesting because I wanted to explain also this mode. Because if we go here in oscillator mode, so it's only using oscillator one. If you do such imports, you have still oscillator two and three to add all the sounds you like. You could also, for example, stack and layer two other DX sounds to get a really broad sound. But let's stick with the oscillator one, which is there. And I last time said this kernel mode hides different algorithms, and that's actually the case. So we are in this kernel mode, and how does this work? I last time only used here the templates. So if you go into edit for that brass, you see it looks like a normal algorithm from a DX7, but there is a difference. It's not operators, it's kernels. So what is the difference with kernels? On the DX7, the operators are always sine waves, but here on the Iridium core, you can select many, many different sounds. But let's say here for kernel one, we don't want to have the sine wave here. Maybe let's switch here to a saw wave. Why not? already have a totally different sound and why not go even more crazy let's say k2 we want to switch that what do we have why not noise <laughs> Sounds quite different, quite nice, and much more interesting and modern. But let's change the sound a bit more. We could go first go to the mix page. You see it's rooted to the VCA, but we can also change this to go the normal route to the, to the filter section as well. And then, for example, you can also apply the filter to it. And you can do the normal sound programming with that. And why not add some effects? Let's say we have a chorus. Maybe a bit much. And let's add a reverb. Nice. So pretty easy to get some sounds from these good old DX7 sounds. You can, for example, also check out the bass and all these things. And I hope I get you some inspiration to do some sound tweaking with the Wild Earth or with the testing. Or I guess you have also tons of other DX7 <laughs> preset readers, synthesizer, because lots of different engines support that as well. And tell me what you think about it. Are you also using still good old DX7 sounds? Tell me down in the comments and I'll see you next time. Make some funky music. Thank you.